edrophonium or tensilon test can produce dramatic, short-lived relief of some or all of the symptoms of ocular myasthenia. This tape demonstrates some of the positive tensilon tests recorded at the University of Iowa. One of the characteristic signs of ocular myasthenia is Kogan's lid twitch. Look down again. Now straight ahead. I want you to watch what happens to that left eyelid. It first goes up and then it gradually droops down. Look down again. Now straight ahead. And this is a very good demonstration of a Kogan's lid sign. This 36-year-old man demonstrates Kogan's lid twitch on the left after fatiguing of the eyelid. Now look at the camera. Okay. Down. Now look at the camera. Okay. Here's another example in a 73-year-old woman complaining of ptosis on the right and diplopia. Ptosis is the most common presentation of ocular myasthenia. Patients may also present with extraocular muscle weakness, either mimicking a gaze palsy or without any recognizable pattern. This is a 50-year-old woman who presented with bilateral ptosis and multiple restrictions of gaze. After administration of IV tensilon, the ptosis is nearly gone and the gaze palsies are clearly improved. This 72-year-old woman presented with left-sided ptosis and a bilateral restriction of gaze to the left. Now look to the left. Way to the left. Doesn't get either eye over to the left very well. I look way up and left and up and right, and down and right, and down and left. After treatment, her motility was close to normal. This case demonstrates a more subtle improvement of ptosis with tensilon. This 78-year-old woman presented with bilateral ptosis and vertical gaze restrictions of the right eye. About 30 seconds after administration of tensilon, here, the lids elevate a millimeter or so. and vertical movements are improved. Here are three more positive tensilon tests. Notice that the left lid droop improves through a series of blinks. This patient's left ptosis dramatically improves with a blink.